Hey guys, this is KGK Revealed again, and I'm here to show you another CAS tutorial. Now, there was a time when I showed you how to make a, a Castle Crasher character, or at the very least, just a video of the Castle Crash, Crasher character fighting Necromancer. Now, I'm going to go and check to make sure I sh put the tutorial on how to make the Castle Crasher character, and if I didn't, then I'll make that one next. But for now, I wanted to show you how to use Necromancer, at least how to make him. I, I like, like, Sly's style is not really shown a lot, and I wanted to push that out more. Now, the reason I gave the Necromancer character Sly's style is because Sly has this thing of, like, laying back, letting the fight do what it has to do for him, and summoning, spect summoning that wolf to do his bidding. So I thought that would be cool for the Necromancer to do. I could see him doing combos off of that. Now, that being the case, let me show you how to make this guy. So here's the Mega Man's Castle Crashers. His body is pretty simple. I use Phase 7. That doesn't really matter too much. Accent braids. Gave him eyebrows 8. And for his voice, I use Gold Assassin 50, negative 50 series. The body structure matters because that that's you know, the necromancer. So I gave him up, up arms, forearms, pecs. I left that negative 12. Where I made hips minus 20. The eyes and caps are set to negative 12. Where the stomach and the waist is set to negative 20. And the muscle mass is set to 4. For the equipment, this is the important part. For his head equipment, I use the Leviathan Bergen Net. For the undergarments, I have Mummified. This way, if he loses all his equipment, which would suck for you, because then you would not know it's the Necromancer. At the very least, he looked like a mummy, so it wouldn't matter too much to you anymore. Also, the reason why I use the bandages is because this way, you can't see his mouth. If I didn't use the bandages, you can still see the mouth. With the bandages on, it looks like he's a specter, which is really cool. I love that about it. Um, for the upper body equipment, I use New Centurion. For the lower body equipment, I use the Giant Hippers. He's saying Giant Hippers. For the, Roman, the, hip, the hip equipment, I use the Roman belt. For the arm equipment, I use the silver gauntlets. For the shoulder equipment, I have the Leviathan pauldrons. For the ankle equipment, I use knee socks. And for the feet, I have the silver knight's greaves. Now, for specialized equipment, I use the bat wings. Why? Because he had wings. When we used to fly around and stuff and be extra cool, I use bat wings. And then, of course, I also use long horns to make him look more uh, like the necromancer, a little more demonic if I could say so. So here's the data I have for everything. For the 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 bat wings, have it sent into the chest, horizontal, vertical, and back is set to zero, the width is 33, depth is negative 50, width is set to 50, the rotate vertically, horizontally, and angle is all set to zero. And you should have the bat the bat wings done properly. That's really that's the value for the bat the bat wings. This may be the default values on them. I'm not sure, but if not, at least you have the actual numbers for the horns. Horizontal, vertical, and back is set to zero. The width is set to 36. Width is set to 50. Depth is set to 34. The Angles ho rotate vertically, horizontally, and the angle is set, all set to zero. And the location is the head. And that is your, your values for the equipment. Honestly, <laughs> for the colors of the stuff, I mean, it's kind of easy, but I'll run through the numbers anyway. Just because, you know. Before I get to the, the, the colors and stuff, let me get to the weapon style. I gave him Zwei. You can choose what style to give him, but keep in mind he's one-handed. You know, you can make him two-handed if you want. But I was thinking about the style that fits his theme the best, and I just said Zwei fits his theme the best. You could probably give him Patroclus' style as well, and that would make him sweet. You could do that too, but I wanted him to have the power of darkness because I'm more about the power of darkness. You know, Patroclus is not about the power of darkness. So that's my main reasons for it. it. 
Other than Patroclus, I really don't see another one-handed sword sword fighter that would fit his style. So, I mean, you can use Patroclus, but you have to do so correctly. Uh, I guess it comes down to what weapon you want to use at that point. Um, but if you use uh, Zwei's uh, style, I picked the E-I-N, the E-N, as his weapon, and I chose the darkness color for it. Well, pretty much the E-N is the weapon he uses all the time. What you really pick is the attributes. The first attributes, I guess, looks like, um, what is that, ice and fire, you know? And then he has, you know, wind, lightning, water, love. That's so weird. Lover. He's weird. And then I have uh, the power of darkness. So I picked the power of darkness, obviously. And it's just, he's like the head, you know, villain. He's the second, he's like one of the head villains in the series of Castle Crashes. Gave him the, the demon pack. I want to see those dark wings like pop out whenever he fights. So now let's get to uh, colors and stickers. Like I said before, his character is kind of simple to do. I just made his eyebrows black. Like things that would more likely get shown, I made black. But don't really have to worry about his skin tone too much since if, no matter what, you're not going to see his face. Because of the mummified wraps, even if he loses his armor, you will never see his face. However, for the head equipment, let's see, I made the first color palette black and the second one red. That one's 96317. The red is for his eyes. Ooh, those eyes are piercing red. You know, if they are looking for black, use a dark blue. So that whenever you see black, it's going to be 4231 with a saturation of zero. So keep that in mind. Whenever you see black, it's going to be 0, 42, 31. Alright? And if it's not, I'll make it that. See? 0, 42, 31. For every time you see black. This is not 0, 42, 31. That's a problem. There you go. Everything must be 0, 42, 31. Everything. Whenever you see black, it's 0, 42, 31, guys. So I'm just making everything you see black, 04231. Alright. If you notice, just about everything is black. The only thing is, I'll, I'll tell you what's not black, and that's what you color. But whatever else is left, just make 04231 to save you guys time. Alright, now we have something that's not black, yay! So let's go to the arm equipment. The second color palette, I set that to 1321. The third color palette is set to 1321 as well. That could be wrong. You know, if you want to set that to black, I would do that. You know what? I'm going to do that. I think it's supposed to be black. I don't know why it's brown. Let's make that all black. It's number 4231. If, if you have a rejection to that, just yet again, comments, but I, it even looks better than being black, I, it does, the show the pauldrons, that's supposed to, that's, that's correct, the show the pauldrons is set to 0, 0, 25, ankle equipment yet again, black, now for the feet, the first two colors is set to 0, 42, 20, 20, sorry, 0, 42, 31, the third color is set to 4018. That's the color of the straps for his um, his boots. Now for the wings. The first two colors are set to 04231. And then the I don't know what I would call that. I guess the the lining, the nerves, whatever you call it, the stems. The, like the outline of the wings, pretty much, I'll say that. It's set to gray, 9024. The horns is set to black as well, 04231. Pretty much really simple. You don't even need stickers for this man. And now for the sword itself. The first color is set to 95131. And then that's for just everything. Everything's set to 95131. And you have made a necromancer. This is probably one of the easiest characters that you can make that lends you the best results you'll see. 
He looks so much like the Necromancer. It's not even funny, and he's it's not even really hard to do. It's really not hard to do. You know, you just gotta think about how you can make it where you can't see him having a physical body. And once you accomplish that, this is what you get for the results. It's badass. Fucking badass. The Necromancer combo down, the Hills Wide combo. Mess it up. There's so many things ways you can do it. I actually use the back back RB for that one. Back punches for that. You get a little bit more damage, not too much more, but enough where it matters. That's 145. Let's see if, I want to see if this one works. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Alright, guys. So. This is Necromancer. You got your Castle Crash character. He's the cool character, too. Really simple to make. Really easy to make. And when you make him, you just feel so good. Enjoy and have fun kicking some ass online. Alright? Now, I'm going to make another tutorial series for these characters. Some more characters. Send me some ideas. Anything. If you haven't noticed yet, my ideas, I'm not limited. I can, I'll make anybody, you know, I make Nickelodeon characters and I make Marvel characters, I make fun video game characters, I make manga characters, I make real television characters, I don't give a damn, as long as I can make them and I like the person or character, I'll make that character. So, till the next series guys, like I tell you every time, comment, rate, subscribe, let the world know who I am, I need to get back out there, you know. And I hope you enjoyed this series. Send me some ideas. Let me know if you like what I'm doing. And I'll catch you in the next episode of uh, my creation series. I will name this thing soon. I gotta find a real name. But I'll see you guys next time around, okay? Until then, take care.